Marley's here from Philadelphia. Bonjour from Paris, France, Montreal, Canada. We have more people coming in the room today. Alabama, Wisconsin. Hey, everybody. Make sure that you put where you're tuning in from inside of the chat. Finland, Natalia's here. Paris, Toronto. Hi, Haley Gordon. Haley James, Melissa, um, Melita, Canada, Pennsylvania. You guys, make sure that you keep putting in the chat. I'm going to get my... Uh, make sure that we're live inside of the Facebook group here. If you have friends coming through today's challenge, make sure that you send them a message and tell them to get their booties onto the live training right now. I am so excited to be sharing this with you all. Catherine says dirty jersey. <laughs> I cannot. I'm in Costa Rica. And if you've noticed, I am actually have a new background now. Um, Robbie and I, we just moved places because we this is not our house but we just bought a house and we're getting ready to move into it and so we had to move in between so i have like the most amazing training for you guys over the next week over the next week i'm gonna be it's a challenge but what it actually is is it is a course on how to build a movement and what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be selling this 
as a course after we finish the next three days together. So how cool is that? You guys are basically getting an entire course for free on how to build your very own movement. <laughs> Thank you, love Melissa says, you are so welcome. Someone asked me, she said, do you have any materials on how to build a movement? And I said, actually I don't, but we're doing this course this week on how to build a movement, this challenge really. And the reason I'm doing this is because over the last year, you guys have watched me, you know, over the last three years, you've watched me build this, this movement since day one, we've always led with let's build a movement. You're the queen of movements, Lorna says, and I want to pass all of the wisdom along to you and really show you, I have these three different focuses that I've put my mind to over the last year that have allowed us to scale at rates that just don't make sense. Put a yes in the chat. If you are the woman, if you are the person who you're like, you know what? I actually do want to grow at rates that don't make sense to other people. Put a yes in the chat. If that's you put a yes in the chat. If you're like, you know what? F yes. Yes. I love you guys so much. Yes. F yes. You know, it's like, I really believe that anything is possible. And for those of you that were at the Costa Rica event this weekend, something that Robbie talked to us while we were on this boat yacht out at sea, he was like, if God and you, like God can create this incredible world, you can create a hundred K months. You, whatever your goal is a million dollar months, 10 K months, you know, whatever it is. And I want to help you tap into that. Yeah. Gemma says anything is possible. It's like, anything like if we can have this beautiful 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 planet you can also create a million dollar business and it doesn't have to be hard and it doesn't have to take a lot of time it can be as simple as a shift today it does not have to be over complicated and far too many of you are over complicating the process and you're always outsourcing the strategy rather than going back into you are the one you are the chosen one that gets to create the thing that you want to be creating and i want to show you how to do that uh, inside of today's training. So you guys ready to get started? Put a yes in the chat. I am going to be diving into everything that I've learned over the last year of what it actually takes to build a movement. So what I would love for you to do in the chat is what is your vision for 2024? Put it in the chat because you guys know I love to love and shove you. I love to push you to your next level. What is your vision for 2024? Put it inside of the chat. What do you want to do? And you can say things like, you know, I want to make a million dollars cash. I want to make $500 million cash. I want to make a billion dollars. I want to go to the outer space. I want to go to Mars. I want to buy a house. I want to have children. I want to have a homestead in my backyard. I don't care what your goals are. Put it in the chat. Jamie says, build a community consistent 50K cash months, 100K months out of nowhere by doing what I love. Yes, Mads. 100K months. Lorna, Lorna, I just love you. Um, vision for 2024, 500K a year. Maria, you can totally do a million. Global movement, $50,000 months. First million dollar year. Buy my dream home, 2024, 100K months retreats, getting a US visa, leave my nine to five, run a successful coaching business. Well, there's something really special about the Freedom Queen community. And I didn't think I was going to go here, but let's go here right away. Do you feel something different about the women inside of this space? Do you feel it? Oh, yes. <laughs> it's not, it's not like, uh, duh, duh. Is something special about it. And on Saturday night when we were doing this slumber party, how many of you were there? Period. <laughs> how many of you were there on Saturday night when we did the, the slumber party on our YouTube channel? And I watched the replay. It was so fun to watch. And as we got done with that live training on our YouTube channel with Alex and Jen and Courtney slumber party, Robbie said something to me. He was like, this is insane. Like what you've done is crazy. Like you have a community. Let's anchor that in right now. Like he's like, he, Robbie works in different businesses. He's like, this is not normal. And I feel like I have a secret. Okay. Oh, you're from your there we go. I feel like I've been hiding over the last two years. I feel like I have had a secret, like a secret weapon or like a secret strategy in my back closet that I'm just, I'm outing it for you. Because there are a couple of core things that I've been doing over the last year that have allowed us to scale. 
And if you saw my post yesterday and it wasn't by way of like getting on 500 million sales calls, it wasn't by way of like engaging with people's accounts. It wasn't even by understanding sales psychology or buyer behavior and feeling like, oh, is your buyer an emotional buyer, a logical buyer? Like it was just by leading a movement. Can you put this word in the chat? Simple. Put that word in the chat. I want to see 63 simples inside of the chat. I've been doing a lot of studying of Elon Musk. And Elon, one of the things that he does daily is he oversimplifies everything, you guys, because many of you, you're looking for an overcomplicated strategy. You're looking to make it harder than it actually is, but it, it is actually simple, simple AF I see in the chat. So allow this to be your week where you realize that scaling a million dollar movement, a multi-million dollar movement doesn't have to be overcomplicated. Doesn't even have to be hard. It gets to be simple. It gets to be a journey of you setting your soul on fire every single day. And if you do what I'm sharing with you and you integrate it into your own life and you embody it in your own way, you will have a million dollar movement. You will. And this moment here feels really powerful. Do you feel like, you know what? This is my time. Do you feel like, yup, I'm ready, Bridget James Lang. I'm ready, Freedom Queen community. Let's do this. Okay. So I don't know if Pearl's here, but we did our giveaway and I wanted to do this first thing. I don't know if Pearl's here, but this is funny because Pearl is somebody go, if you, you guys know Pearl, put a yes in the chat if you know Pearl. Can someone DM her or multiple, you just go on your Instagram and DM her and be like, you just won. You just manifested. <laughs> Pearl is a freedom queen. Pearly, Kara, yes, yes, yes. Pearl ma just manifested a hundred dollars. Can someone go message Pearl and be like, Pearl, you're the winner of the of the hundred dollars inside of the Freedom Queen Challenge. And the, uh, the reason why I was shocked when the random name picker chose Pearl's name this morning is because <laughs> Pearl's been winning all of the like the the re the rewards of like the prizes and all of the challenges that she's been signing up for. I saw she just won another one somewhere else. You guys, this was a random name picker. My team and I went and pulled out everyone's name, generated a random. <laughs> Pearl literally says she always wins prizes. And that's it. You know what? You know what it's like? It's like she says, I always win prizes. And you can say, I always, I, I always make a million dollars. I always make a hundred thousand dollars. That is your default. That's what you expect out of life. Okay, let's get into this. Congratulations, Pearl. So put a yes in the chat if you're here to build a million dollar movement. You know it in your soul. You're not here to build some sort of coaching business that's boring. You're not here to like, I don't know, sell a bunch of courses on the internet and like never talk to anyone. You're here to build a movement. And movement makers are really, really, really different than everyone else. You have a fire about you. And I usually see a common thread between movement makers is they have this like absolute freaking lutely. Yes. Mel says they have this thing inside of them that where the, probably ever since you were a little girl, you've always felt different. Like you've always felt unique. You've always felt like you were meant to do something really, really big on this planet. You've always known that you're meant to lead in a big way. And sometimes you don't even know how to put words to it, but you know, in your soul that it's like, you're the one <laughs> like you're it you're meant to you're meant to literally transform the masses you have a voice and even if you're afraid even if you're like I don't even know if this is possible but like you know in your soul that that it is meant for you you're meant to lead in a really big way how many of you are new to the freedom queen is this your first ever freedom queen event if you're new put n-e-w in the chat put new in the chat if you're brand new, if you're an OG and you've been here before, put OG in the chat. Hey, Victoria, Victoria, you just joined our membership. Ebony, Madeline, new OG. We have everyone here. Amazing. I hope that you feel, feel super, super welcome. So when I started my business, I said, I'm going to lead with building a movement. I'm going to lead with building a movement. I'm not going to do it by this like 
making content and then just looking for a transaction and then trying to do it, do it over and over and over again. I'm going to lead by the way of building a movement. And if you love building a movement, you also love people. Put a yes in the chat if these calls like this light your soul on fire. You get on a call like this and you're like, I can do anything. I need to go change the world. Movement makers are the people that really deeply value and love service. You really care about growing as a person. I'm getting chills right now. You care about creating a transformation in other people's lives. You wake up every day and you go, how can I serve someone today? How can I make a bigger impact on today? Do you guys feel my the resonance and the tonality in my voice? Like your energy feels my, feels my fire. Yeah, it's like, we're really in this today. This feels like another level for Freedom Queen happening right now. And so when I started Freedom Queen, I said, I'm going to build with, I'm going to build a movement. I'm not going to do it the other way. And what happened was, is people watched me go like this, boom, total Freedom Queen rocket ship explode. And I feel like over the last two years, three years, I've had this like secret and I'm going to just share it with you all today. I'm going to go into it over the next three days. But the thing is, is like, I didn't do this through. I didn't build the million dollar movement by getting on sales calls, cold DMing people, studying sales psychology, learning buyer types, writing 50 million sales pages, constantly changing my product suite all of the time. I didn't do it that way. What a relief, Mel says. I did it by building a movement. And what we're going to learn over the next three to four days is the, these three key parts. And I hope you brought a journal so you can write these down. You guys, this is literally all you need in order to build a million dollar movement. This, this is literally all you need. Write this down. Number one, embody the vision. Pen is ready, Kristen says. One, embody the vision, which we're going to be talking about today. Because where there is no vision, the people will perish. And if you cannot cast a vision for your audience, no one will buy for you or your retention will go down and you'll fall off the face of the earth. And maybe you'll have a really big year in business, but then you'll be completely forgotten about. If you've watched Freedom Queen over the last three years, and grow and keep reaching other people. There's never been a time in the last three years. Oh, I'm frozen. Am I still frozen? Oh no, pause. Are we good? It's okay now. Okay, we're breaking the internet. There's never been a time in the, in the last three years where I have like stunted my growth or I've said, we're just gonna stay here and settle. But that is because of the ability to embody the vision and cast a vision for your community. If you're not doing this, what you'll see inside of your business is you'll see a pattern of you'll have really big months and then you'll drop down. You'll grow, 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 then you'll drop down. You guys know what I'm talking about. And I want to open you up to a reality where you're not having ups and downs, but it feels like every single day, you're like, I'm going to keep growing and expanding. And so is my movement. And so are the people that are involved in your movement. Okay. Second thing, make sure you write this down, leading the community. We're going to be talking about that tomorrow morning. And then the third thing is pioneering the path. Leading the community, I'm going to be teaching you different strategies around how I actually do community events, how I speak on them, how I make people feel special that not just creates incredible transformation, but also helps with retention inside of your programs. And then pioneering the pathway, which looks like how to create programs, how to create offers that just don't make sense and make people go, what is she doing? What is she doing on the internet? I've, like just put a yes in the chat if you wanna be someone or you know you're someone that you, you want people to be like, what the heck is Jacqueline doing? Like is she, that is me. Yeah. We kept saying uh, this weekend, um, Courtney said it. She said bat bat stuff crazy, but she used the curse word. I always curse on stuff. Bat stuff crazy or buck wild. Like you just know that you want you want to create this life where people are like, oh my God, Kara, Lorna, Chantal, Lena, Ashley, Anna, Arlene, Brittany, what the heck is she doing? And I don't just mean in business. Okay, let's get right into this. Are you guys ready? Put a yes in the chat if you're ready to get started. The first thing is that movement makers dominate. Movement makers 
you have a different feeling of with them. Think of different artists that you love. So think of someone like Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is a movement maker. Taylor Swift is not just a performing artist. She's not just a singer. That woman has literally created a movement. Think of like another artist that, you know, put an artist in the chat that, you know, is just more like an artist. They're more of a singer and that's fine. That's fine. They can stay there. But the movement makers are the ones, I would say Beyonce is even a movement maker. Movement makers indo indoctrinate their community. Movement makers are the people that stand out. They're the people that have a message. They're the people that make their audiences embody the message. Yeah, okay, so Ariana is a, a really good, a really good a, a example of that. The point is, is that movement makers dominate. And I find that sometimes it's difficult to even think of an artist that you that's not a movement maker. Hey, Alex, I see you coming on. That's not a movement maker is because they're not memorable. Sure, Carrie Underwood's amazing, but Carrie Underwood has had her ups and downs and ins and outs. Taylor Swift, Beyonce, these women are movement makers. They dominate. They take over the world. And indoctrinating, I saw the question in the chat, meaning they have, you know, in, in like Beyonce, she has like the beehive or Taylor Swift has the Swifties. And when you go to a Taylor Swift concert, I don't even really love Taylor Swift, but I love watching what she does. She has like all of the bracelets and everyone knows her songs and they're spreading the message and at home they're singing them. Are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? And inside of you, probably when you watch movement makers, something lights up because you know that you're not the person that's meant to be in the seat of the conference, you know that you're the person that's meant to be on the stage, casting the vision for your audience, helping them become someone better than they are now. So what does it, what, what's really the difference between these two? Let's actually analyze these. What actually makes a movement? So a boring coaching business, I really went there. I just said boring coaching business. A boring coaching business is really based on transaction. It's based on, I would say, the more pirate ship business model. You're going to launch a bunch of things. You're going to go out, collect the gold, come back in, use the gold, and then you're going to run out of the gold and then have to do it over and over again. Now, it doesn't always have to be the way that you set up your product suite. But inside of a regular coaching business, there usually is small connection between the mentors, the clients, and the community. Sure, maybe you and the mentor have a great relationship, but it doesn't feel like you're a part of something bigger. It doesn't feel like you're connected with other women inside of the space. How many of you have become friends with someone else inside of Freedom Queen? How many of you have become friends? You made a friend inside of it? Or... How many of you, when you're inside of, yeah, Crystal, you've, you've met people around the world, Crystal. Many of you have created friendships inside of this community. How many of you, when you, you're inside of Freedom Queen, you feel like you're a part of something bigger? It's not just me leading Freedom Queen. It's all of the women inside of it, but then it's also the soul of Freedom Queen. There's an energy about this space that feels different. How many of you have ever, and this is, again, this is not putting anyone down. This is just stating the obvious of how you feel and the reality. How many of you have joined a program before and it just kind of feels like, okay, you're there to go learn something from someone and then you're going to leave and be done. And that's kind of it. Again, there's nothing wrong with this. I have been in programs like this before. How many of you have ever experienced it? Just put a yes in the chat. Me. Yeah. When you start leading and seeing the your business from the lens of million dollar movement people will see you differently they will get higher higher transformation inside of your programs people will leave and go tell their friends and family about you you guys i get so many dms every day bridge i recommended someone else to join the membership and join freedom queen i sent your podcast and da -da 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 -da. What happens is, is it removes you from being the core property or the core, like the, just the, the core of the business. And it starts creating 
channels for other people to spread the word. You have messengers that are taking your word that you have to say and spreading it out across the population. Typically, you have different movement mantras. You have things that you say. You have identities that you belong to, like Freedom Queen. That's an identity that we belong to. Uh, we have a shared vision together. Uh, and I put a note in my notes here for the curriculum. They stand out from the crowd. It feels like people belong to something bigger than they can even imagine. They become innovators and pioneers that make people go, have you seen what so-and-so is doing? Have you seen what Alex, what Ozma, what Catherine is doing? And here's a really key point, the difference between sales. People will buy anything from you when you build a million dollar movement. I've sold so many different offers. I once sold an offer last year where it was a Voxer broadcast channel. I guess I want to buy everything from you, mic drop. It was a Voxer broadcast channel where you got to come travel the world with me behind the scenes. And I Voxered them my audio message. But at the same time, I also, how many of you are in Wealth Embodied? or you've done our Move and Manifest certification, or you've done a content session with me, yeah, me, 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 or you're, um, you're in a Million Dollar Movers Mastermind, or you've come to a retreat, right? These are all very, very, very different things, but the thing is, is that people, me, Jacqueline Content Sesh, me, Maria, they're all a part of Freedom Queen. And I wanna be really clear that not everyone is meant to build a movement. But if you're here, you're definitely meant to build one. Because if you showed up on this live, all 71 of us, in your heart and soul, you know that this is bigger than what do I post on Instagram. So let's get right into creating the vision that you have for your, for your clients and for yourself. Uh, Lizzie says, I'm not sure what my movement is. The clarity is a bit fuzzy. Amazing. We're going to lock that in today. So today we're talking about embodying the vision. So the first thing, when you're creating the vision for your customers, you have to stop trying to craft some vision for your audience. Stop trying to go, well, what should my movement be about? And start being the vision yourself. And so what that looks like is you creating an extraordinary life for you. This doesn't mean that you have to fly private jets around the world and have a yacht and multi-million dollar homes. Do not get this twisted. Having a vision for yourself can look like whatever it is that you want it to look like, but it has to be for you. Because your vision that you have for yourself is what's going to sell everything else. So if we don't focus on this today, the rest of the course is not going to matter. What is the vision that you have for you? And maybe you actually haven't been anchoring in that vision. Maybe you've kind of been, your vision has been here. It's been like, well, this month I'm going to do this and then I'm just going to get here and then I'm just going to get here. I'm going to love and shove you and ask you, can you create a vision that is beyond this lifetime? And sometimes this vision doesn't have to mean, oh, well, I'm going to do this, this and this external thing. Sometimes the vision is an internal feeling. It's I'm going to wake up the world. I'm going to wake up humanity. That can be the vision that you have for you. Because there are many times in building Freedom Queen where I've said, yeah, we're going to buy a house and we're going to do retreats. But really the actual thing that connected me on a deeper level to myself was the feeling that I wanted to have for my life. So put it in the chat. What is the feeling that you want to have for yourself? For the rest of your life, I'm not talking about in six months or a month or whatever, eight weeks, the, the light, like orgasmic peace, fulfillment, safe in myself, full body freedom, awe, quiet confidence. I am the creator. Oh, Catherine, that one's so good. Peace and freedom. And so what your job is to do every single day, abundant Jody says, freedom of choice, Jillian, your job every single day is to make sure that you, for yourself, you're always tapped into this feeling, the vision that you have for yourself. 
Because if you're waking up daily and you're going, let me try and cast a vision for other people, but you do not keep your word to yourself. You do not deserve to be paid. <laughs> I went there. If you're trying to teach people how to build a business or make money or, or organize your fam finances or have great mental health or whatever it is, and you're not actively pursuing your vision yourself or living an on-purpose life, you're not actually living in integrity. Now, where does this get confused? You do not have to be perfect. You don't have to have the perfect mental health or the perfect uh, business or the perfect mindset or the perfect body, but you do have to pioneer and live an on-purpose life. <laughs> I feel like I should just end the course now. <laughs> you do have to live an on-purpose life, which means, oh, I see some people, there we go. Which means that when you're getting up in the morning, when you're working on your business throughout your day, on your weekend, are you actually living a life that you would love to buy from? And again, I hear the excuses all the time. People will say to me, well, I don't want to live in Costa Rica. Well, I don't want to live by the ocean. Well, I don't want to fly a jet or whatever it is. Great. You don't have to do those things, but you do have to live on purpose for you. And your purpose in your life and your vision for yourself is going to evolve over time. It will change. So sometimes I want to bake organic banana bread in my kitchen. And sometimes I want to take my clients on a private jet to Thailand next year. It doesn't matter what other people desire. You have to do it for you. Why is this so important? Why am I going so hard on this right now? You are your best sales page. And if you cannot keep your word to yourself, why should other people want to work with you. Oops, just muted some people. Why should other people want to work with you if you can't keep your word to yourself? And so the reason why people, you are your best sales page, Kara says, yes. The reason why people continue to buy from Freedom Queen is not because I know exactly how to talk about transformations and I know buyer psychology and all of those things. I am a woman of my word. So when I said, hey, everyone, I'm going to make $100,000 this year. You better believe I went and made $100,000. When I said, I'm going to host a retreat in Costa Rica for my first year in business, and I said, I'm going to sell it out. I had no idea how to do that. But I said, I have to be the vision for myself. I have to actually do the things that I said I was going to do. And then your brain will immediately go to, well, how do I do that? How do I do that? How do I do that? Those things are very simple. I'm, most of you right now, the reason that you don't have those things is because you're not actually putting yourself in the state of the feeling that you want to be having every single day in the chat because the how is very simple and you know that it's the same thing in the weight loss industry. People all the time be like, I don't know how to lose weight. And majority of the time it is move your body more and eat healthy. And it's the same thing in business. Take care of yourself. Show up and serve people. Follow through on what you say you're going to do. Be the walking sales page. Be the proof for your audience that it is possible. And so when I said to the audience, I'm going to sell out the retreat, you better believe that I did everything in my power to sell out the retreat. When I said this year, I'm going to make a million dollars cash. And there were moments this year where I didn't feel like I could do that. And I said, I owe it to myself to be all in, which is the equivalent to, I owe it to your, myself to build the vision, to be the vision that I said I was going to do, to live by my word. Are you living by your word? And I want to go into this right now. So where do you, and if you're in wealth and body, this is an overlap of this, where do you embody the vision and where do you lack integrity? And this is not to make yourself feel bad, but to be honest with yourself. One of the best things that you can do is be honest of where you embody the vision and where you don't. Where are you saying to your audience, hey, buy from me, but then 
you you don't you show up once on your Instagram story. Where are you embodying the vision? Is it how you take care of yourself? When you say you're going to do something, do you follow through on it? When you say you're going to launch a program, do you give up because one person said yes and then they goes to you? The key to unlocking a movement that doesn't make sense is being the person that does what she says she's going to do. The best form of self-love is not reading the book or doing whatever. The best form of self-love is following through on what you say you're going to do. So I want you to just journal about it. Write it down and then, and then put it in the chat when you have it ready. Where do you actually embody the vision? Where are you saying to yourself, yes, I do that really well. Amazing. Because wherever you are embodying the vision, wherever you're actually doing that, that is actually the thing that you can sell. Where you're not embodying the vision, where you actually lack integrity, is not the thing that you should be selling. Because if you're trying to sell the thing that you lack integrity in, meaning let's say this, you're trying to pe teach people how to make money, but yet actually behind the scenes, you're in a lot of debt and you don't have any money and you constantly default on payments. Teaching how to make money, I would recommend not to do that. Or whatever the niche is. And this is so important because when you actually embody the thing that you are actually good at, it's so much easier. So I want you to put it in the chat. What do you actually embody? What do you do really, really well? Is it your emotional intelligence? Is it the way that you make content? Is it the way you take care of yourself? And I really want you to also, when you're building a movement, open up the fact that it does not have to just be whatever your niche is. There can be other things in your life that aren't just, you know, whatever it is that you do, how to do social media management how to invest your money because inside of your movement, people aren't just interested in your niche. They're interested in who you are. We're going to be talking more about that in, in a couple other trainings. What are you actually amazing at? Now here's the piece of this. You've written down what you're amazing at. You've put it in the chat, but do you document this? Do people actually know that you're the one to be selling the thing that you're, you're, you're selling? And, and many times what happens is, it's like, you know that you're good at these things. You've written the offer. You've done the Google Doc 500 million times, who it's for, the problems that they're going to solve, the transformation that they're going to get, the vehicle that you're going to help them get, or the vehicle that you're going to use to help them get the transformation. But the key missing point here is this. You're not telling your audience that this is your zone of genius. This is the actual thing that you embody. And by the way, we're going to be talking about this on our last call. Where we're talking about pioneering the pathway. You've got to, you've got to be so convicted in your word. You've got to shout your name and your expertise from the rooftops. You've got to pioneer it in a way that just makes people go, I have to join. I was reflecting with Robbie last night because he's in such a good mirror for me because obviously we live together and he he's seen me build Freedom Queen over the last three years. And I said, what is it? Like, what is, what from your perspective, what is one of the things that has made me really blow up in business over the last three years? And he says, you genuinely believe that your thing is the thing. Do you genuinely believe that your thing is the thing. And are you 100% bought into the concept of what it is that you're doing and you? And the more that you buy into you, and this is why we're going to your vision and making sure that you're in integrity with yourself, the more that you buy into you and you're spreading it from the rooftops and you're sharing your word and your, your messengers are going out and sharing your message, why am I doing this? It compounds. 
And in the beginning, I use the analogy of like a mountaintop. In the beginning, you're pushing the ball up the mountain, right? And so I shared that with you. When I first started my business, I saw other women really blowing up quickly. And I was like, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm not going to build it because it doesn't actually look like they're doing this in a, in a sustainable way. I said, I'm going to build from the place of a movement. So I'm going to build this way. I'm going to keep pushing the ball up the mountain. I'm going to live in integrity. I'm going to embody what I'm actually good at, good at, and I'm going to spread it from the rooftop. And I'm going to gain messengers along the way that come with me. Many of you have been with me since day one. And as I got to the top of that peak that I was going to, what happened at the peak was that the ball started to do the work for me. But if as you're pushing the ball up the mountain, you lack integrity and you're constantly dropping back down and you're losing strength, you'll, you won't get to the top and you won't actually be able to harvest all of the work that you put in along the way. Put a yes in the chat if you're picking this up because I want to keep going, but I want to make sure that you guys are getting it. So are you having like so many downloads? Are you like, what is happening? <laughs> this is the best free course I've ever been to and on how to build movement. This is crazy. Okay. The, the next thing that I want to go into is what is the vision that you have for the community? So we've talked about, okay, what is the vision um, that you have for yourself? I asked you in the chat to put in your goals for 2024. And I also asked you to put in the chat how you want to feel throughout the rest of your life. I didn't say the rest of this year or next year. I said, for the rest of your life, how do you want to feel? Like, I want to feel like I'm a magical freaking flying through outer space like i'm in like a, a, a harry potter movie because that actually is my life okay and some of my clients got to come see me so they know what i'm talking about <laughs> they can uh, share if i live in integrity or not um and so i want you to now think about what is the vision that you have for the community where are you taking them and this is really going to matter when we get into um, tomorrow's training on leading your community. So make sure that you really think about this now and over the next 24 hours, what is the vision that you have for your community? And it does not have to be, this is the end all be all forever vision and that's it. And we're going to say this for the rest of our life. Because if you've been inside of Freedom Queen, has the vision evolved? Yeah. Yeah. The vision has changed. And so when I first started my business, the vision was for my audience, become your own boss, live by the beach, own your own business. Now the vision that I have for my community is build a million dollar movement. Build a massive global movement that wakes up the world. But the feeling between those two and who I was being actually is the same. It's the essence of Freedom Queen. I'm going to help you set yourself free and I'm going to help you reign and make an impact for, for the community that you're building. So I want you to really think about this and, and what I don't want you to do is try and perfect this, okay? I want you to try and from like no filter, no perfectionism, if you could do anything and help your community go anywhere, what, where would you take them? Where would you take them? Would it be that your, your, your moms are, I have a couple of clients that teach moms how to build businesses. Would it be that you teach moms how to build service-based businesses that allow other that allow those moms to be super present with their children and they're able to buy like the infrared sauna and the water filtration system and internally they have this feeling that they're just like oh, relaxed and also their soul is on fire at the same time When you write down this vision, I recommend that you write it down from two lenses. The first lens is really an external lens because external uh, external metrics are actually really great markers to, to analyze because we can actually measure them. So external, externally, what is the vision? But then internally, what is the vision? 
So I said, build a million dollar movement, a massive movement that's taking over the world. And internally, they feel like they're waking up the planet and their soul is set free. Crystal says, wait, something is clicking. <laughs> I love this work. This is definitely a course you go back and binge so many times. You guys, these visions are so good. And what I, uh, what I want you to start doing is I want you to start casting this vision for people. And so we're going to talk about in the last 10 minutes here, um, how you actually cast a vision for people. This is really important. You are, oh, you will, I put the quote here. Somebody needs to screenshot this and tag me on it on Instagram. You will only go as far as the vision you can cast. You will only go as far as the vision you can cast. And I was talking about this this weekend with some of my mastermind clients. And I was saying to them how many times one of the reasons why your clients might not get results in your program is because of your ability to be able to cast a vision for them and for yourself. You want to build a movement, cast the vision for your customers and for you, and then go light your soul on fire, ignite yourself, and be the person, be the proof that actually brings that vision to life. And the only thing you have to do then is hold up your cell phone and document your life and say, guys, I did what I said I was going to do. Let's go do the next thing. I told my clients I'm going to do next thing is $10 million. I don't need to know the how. I don't need to know the way. I just know that I need to be the proof for myself and for them. And that, me declaring that for me, now sets their soul on fire. And many of the times, this is just really real talk transparency, many of the times that you might not be seeing high retention inside of your programs and or people aren't getting transformation that you would like them to be getting is because you are limiting their vision. Most probably because you're limiting yourself. The why, why, why? People want to be with people that are going somewhere. People want to be in the ship that's taking off. I'm tapping into my inner movement maker. They want to be in the, the vehicle that's flying and soaring. And I always say this, your job is not to be perfect, but you do have to pioneer. You don't need to know the way. You don't need to know the how, but you do need to show up every day for this vision that you're creating for your life. Otherwise, people will not buy from you or they will buy from you and they're going to stay. And that is, or they're going to leave. I mean, they're going to buy from you and leave, buy from you and leave. But if you want to actually create incredible transformation, incredible uh, retention inside of your programs, cast the vision for them. So how do you do this? One of the ways that you can do this is literally by asking your clients, what is your vision? What is your vision? And then in Freedom Queen, we talk about the love and shove. I often have you put your vision in the chat and then I tell you, you can go do way more right? How many of you have been on a call with me? And I'm like, that's cute, but you can go do way more. Many of my mastermind clients are great examples of this. Uh, what one of our mastermind clients, Courtney, I was saying to her, this was a couple of months ago. She's like, I want to sign on. I think it was like five new clients in, in across all of our programs this week. And I was like, five new clients in a week, you can do 10 a day. And then she, she did like 11 in a day. Your clients are hiring you for you to help wake them up to what's possible. And if you are the mentor that says that's amazing, but Freedom Queen, I know you and I know you can do a hundred X more than what you think you're capable of. And here's the thing. If you truly believe in your customers, if you truly believe in your clients, they're going to do the thing. And so it's like, number one, are you asking them what their visions are? Are you loving and shoving them to say, you can go bigger than that? 
And then are you actually leading the vision for yourself? This is one of the, this is one of the biggest reasons I see people leave programs or people uh, kind of like get stagnant in their business. Maybe they were taking off and then they just kind of stay is because they stop casting the vision for their clients and for themselves. And it's so simple, Wait, simple ways you can do this. Number one is declaring your vision for yourself by yourself. What, it, what do you want? I'm constantly reminding myself of my vision. Two, sharing it with a mentor. If I'm your mentor, share it with me. Share it with me on a regular basis. Where are we going? Three, sharing it with a team member. Mo and I sat down this week and we're like, this is our vision for the week. This is what we're doing. Let's expand it. Let's create a vision that just doesn't make sense. Four, asking your customers, what is the vision that you have? And then asking them to go bigger. And then five, across all content, do you have vision painting content? When you read your client, I remember you read your, con your content, when you read your content, do your clients feel like, wow, I could go somewhere with Lonnie, with Jacqueline, with Adrian. I could go somewhere with her. Or do they feel like I learned something, but I don't feel like I want to move. Vision painting content could look like this. Here's an example. Signs you're about to, and then insert the vision. Signs you're about to, insert crazy big vision. Or here's another one. I don't know about you, but us and the Freedom Queens are about to build multi-bajillion, bazillion dollar businesses, and we're not going to do it by cold DMing and doing da 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 Okay, so you feel that energy. Now feel this energy. How to build a seven-figure business. Do you feel the difference between the two? And what you get to do inside of your copy is be someone who creates this vision painting copy that makes people move. If you're, if, if you're getting a lot of likes and saves in your content, but you're not actually getting people to say, how can I hire you? I guarantee that you're not painting the vision for your customers. Imagine this. What if your life looked like this? I don't know about you, but we're doing this. Even yesterday's post was a vision painting. It was more of like a hoorah is a move type of post. You feel it in your body. Someone commented on yesterday's post I made on Instagram and I'll pull it up so we know exactly what I'm talking about. I said, um, I just realized that I'm about to blow the effing top off and I'm not gonna do it by way of some calculated plan or some five-step strategy that you can go and Google. I'm gonna do it by way of the Freedom Queen Million Dollar Movement Formula. When you read that post, did you feel something? Someone even commented saying, whoa, I feel the energy in this post. I could have just said how I built a million dollar movement using the Freedom Queen formula. Womp. <laughs> Instead, it had the energy behind it. And so when you're making content, I want you to think about how can I paint the vision for them? How can I write this piece of content that makes them go, wow, I feel, keyword, feel like I could do something bigger in my life. Why is this so important, you guys? When someone is scrolling on social media and they're scrolling and they see content that makes them feel bad about themselves or they see content that makes them go like, oh, I don't know about that. And then they see your post that says, I don't know about you, but moms are the best at making money because we know how to push babies out of our vajays. Ha ha ha, laughing emoji, taking over the world emoji. You, that will make you 10 times more money than saying why mom, like how moms can make money. And so your job is to paint the vision in your content and do it in a way that makes people feel something. Because when someone feels something, what happens is, is they start to embody it. And the more that they start to embody the feeling, you are now a part of them. 
And when they go to have dinner with their husband or they go for the walk by themselves or whatever it is, they're going to feel you and think about you. And if you're someone who can't, they can't get you out of their mind, well, not only are they going to continue to buy from you, but they're also going to have an amazing transformation as they continue to consume all of your materials. So I want to go into your homework. Before we, tomorrow, we go into um, how to lead your community. Tomorrow is going to be very tactical on how to actually lead the community. And then the next day, we're going to go into pioneering the pathway, which is about offers and really trailblazing. I want you to post inside of the Facebook group, inside of our Freedom Queen Facebook group, what is the vision for your community? And inside of this post, what I want you to do is put a photo of yourself. So number one, that it doesn't get lost in the feed, but I also want to see you. We want to see you. Put a photo of yourself and write my vision for my community is, and then I want you to do two buckets. One is the external vision. Two is the internal vision. Post it inside of the group. Can you do that? Can you do the homework? Put a guess in the chat if you're going to do your homework. Post it inside of the group because tomorrow when we meet again, same time, we're going to be working on your messaging, your leading of the community, your movement mantras, how you're actually spreading the message and creating messengers who spread the word for you. But if you don't have the vision, it won't work. So I'll repeat the homework again. Go into the Facebook group. You're going to post, a, you're going to make a post and put a photo of you on it so we can see you on the actual post. My vision for my community is, and then write the external vision and the internal vision. Okay, I'm coming into the chat now. This is so good, Lizzie says. How are you feeling after day one? How are you feeling after day one? Clear, Jacqueline says. Oh, I love that. Clarity is so good. I want to hug your face. Thank you so much, Crystal. I can't wait to hear about the, um, like the clicking moments. Going to rewatch. Pearl, congratulations on winning. Um, send us a message your PayPal so we can send you the hundred dollars cash. I have confidence and guidance ready to take over in 2024 inspired. Like I was doing exactly what I need to be doing, but just got in my head about it. Love you bridge. Love you back. Okay. I feel, I feel, I love these messages I'm on fire and I, and like I'm home. Okay. So you have the homework, make sure you really go and think about this. Tag me on your Instagram story. Let's make this whole week, like one big million dollar movement party. And I will see you tomorrow, same time, same place on Zoom. This is one of my favorite programs ever. I love you so, 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 so much. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Bye.